For thousands of years, we built our civilization based on the assumption that our demographics resemble the pyramid. Young people at the bottom, old ones at the top. Thanks to the modern political interventions and technological advancement, people are living longer. But here's a problem. Look at the top left pyramid. That's the 1950 demographics, a nicely shaped one. A little more than a month from now, we, our demographics is going to look like in the middle. Fast forward to 2060, you see that one looks like a column, which means we are going to have as many unhealthy old individuals as healthy young ones, the working population. But our economic system is not capable of ensuring medical support for that many sick old individuals. We got to figure out how to make those aged seniors healthy as age is the biggest risk factor of death. Often through neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease. Our lab investigates the therapeutic aspects of Alzheimer's disease. It's the sixth leading cause of death. 5.8 million Americans are living with it. And by 2060, this number is projected to rise more than 14 million. That's almost 70% of current population of Florida. Symptoms as in memory loss, language problems, not being able to recognize things or person. And on a cellular level, it is often characterized by accumulation of misfolded proteins, beta amyloid. My research is focused on the role of a particular protein located on the outer mitochondrial membrane, TOM40. If mitochondria is a room, then TOM40 is like a door through which all the important proteins and DNAs come inside to support this powerhouse. Now in Alzheimer's, the misfolded beta amyloid, they try to get into the mitochondria only to get stuck in the door or TOM40, thereby interfering all the necessary protein molecules that want to come in. This mitochondria can provide the necessary energy to neural cells which fails to clear this misfolded protein garbage, gets degenerated further producing the disease symptoms. Now TOM40 is reduced also in the neurons of Alzheimer's brains. However, studies done in Parkinson's disease model and various cancer cell lines show increased cell viability, neuron regeneration and improved mitochondrial function when TOM40 is overexpressed. I'm investigating the role of TOM40 in Alzheimer therapeutics using stem cell that create a cellular model which would mimic the actual Alzheimer's disease pathology. My study, my findings will impact the therapeutic studies of all the other neurodegenerative diseases as well because mitochondrial dysfunction is a common phenomena in all of them. So considering the current prevalence rate of all the neurodegenerative diseases altogether, we are actually aiming to cure 35 million people with a single therapeutic mechanism. Thank you.